Son? What are you doing here? We need to have a very serious father-to-son discussion uh, about protection. Shut up, Dad! This is serious. Now, now that you're a man, I know that you and that girlfriend of yours have been going out, uh, what are the kids today calling it, uh, uh, splitting the wood? No one calls it splitting that the anymore, wood, Dad. Well, it's very important. You're a douchebag. Listen, it's very important that you protect yourself because I love you. Stop being gross. I love gross. you and you need to protect yourself. So, I want to make sure that you know how to use one of these. Oh, Dad, that's gross. Put yeah, that back. You, you need to watch that. I'm going to demonstrate on myself Dad. so that you oh, have some sense gee, of this is how so to, to use Dad. this particular... This ah! YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, coming at you with a super boring video that nobody's going to care about, but I guarantee you it's a hell of a lot more important than the last 20 ultimate survival knife videos that you may have checked out. And it's about something really boring, gloves. See, right behind me over here I've got a bunch of logs. This is from a tree that I felled recently using my electric chainsaw, which I power off of the, the solar panels. I've been trying to split it, and it has been a pain in the goddamn ass to get this thing split up. Number one, it's not particularly dried. It's easier to split wood when it's dry. Uh, and it's also, it's a cherry tree. And cherry trees, the grain is kind of like a helix, uh, which ties the whole thing together even more. I mean, if you've ever made cordage, the whole point of, the, the task in making cordage is that you are you know, binding everything together by having it all twist into helixes. So it's kind of like a rope of wood <laughs> that I'm trying to split. And the method that I've been using, because I don't have ideal tools for it, but you know, you work with what you got, uh, is an axe. And I get the axe stuck in there, and then I pound away at it with this 4x4. Four four. Granted, I could have a better tool, but you got what you got, and you work with what you have. Uh, especially in a collapse environment. And pounding away at it with my hand right on here, I give myself a big ass callus. Well, that's not a callus yet. It's just a giant open blister at the moment. Tore it open. Uh, you know, I treated it, got it all sanitary and everything, got a band-aid on it. But that happened even with gloves on. And I work outside quite a bit. I'm always doing this kind of stuff. So, you know, my hands are reasonably rugged, but even with that, you know, shit happens, and it did. But it made me think about the importance of having good gloves for a collapse event, because your hands are your fundamental gear package. You need to keep them in good working order. And you could say, well, I'll just be all macho and manly, and I'll get all cuts in it, and I'll just, you know, I'll just soldier on, keep going. But, you know, cuts are a vector for infection and disease, and at the very least, they're a distraction from what you need to be focusing on. You won't be at the top of your game if your hands are throbbing and bleeding. So you want to protect them. And when I say gloves, I mean, well, here's what I don't mean. I don't mean these kind of things that people get, you know, put on and pretend that you're G.I. Joe with like the metal knuckles and everything like that. I mean real work gloves like these guys. Uh, now this is a thinner kind of uh, style glove. It's got fabric on the back and there's some some leather on the front. I like this because I feel like the really thick gloves, I lose the dexterity in my fingers. I don't like that. But the price I pay with these kind of gloves is that uh, they're thinner and they rip through faster. But the idea is start getting things now. Start working with your hands now. If you've got these lily white paper thin skin hands and you're in a collapse event and you have to start using your hands, they're going to get torn to shit. <laughs> and having gloves will help, but you also want to have some calluses. So think about that because your hands, like I say, they're your fundamental gear package. You want to keep them in good shape with some real gloves. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video.